What's up, my V lovelies? You guys, today we are eating at the Wings 101. 101, y'all. Um, I don't know the exact uh, area that this is in, but listen, y'all, I'm just happy to that I decided to go here because their food looks amazing. Look what I got, y'all. Especially when you're hungry. Oh, I got some whiting here with some house fried rice with some honey lemon wings. What y'all know about them things? So we're going to um, say grace and get it in. That's what we're going to do, and I'm going to grab my food real quick. Uh all right. Really, is that heavy? Yes, it's heavy. We're gonna do the thumbnail. 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 Can you see? I'm washed out, baby. No, you're not All washed right, out. There we All go. Right. Let's say grace. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food and drink that we're about to receive. We ask, Father, you bless it that it may be nourished into our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And shout out to Passion and Jade. Jade. Shout out to Passion and Jay. We appreciate you guys for coming up to us in uh, Wings 101 and speaking to us and giving us hugs like we requested y'all to do. We asked everyone to give us hugs when they see us and, and everything. Sure, but, y'all, sure. I'm excited to get this food on. I'm excited, too. And uh, we got to go because we got appointments to make. So here's the lemon wing. That lemon ring. Mm. Lemon wing. Ooh. Is it good? Is it popping? It's lemony. See, I knew I should have got medium. Mm. Oh, you dipping it in the medium? Is, mm -hmm. is the medium good? Mm -hmm. I knew it, y'all. The medium is like a hot sauce. Like Frank's? Yep, so I'm like, I don't know. All right, let me try it. Let me try it. Me I get the, it. what? Oh my God, please wait. Uh, you know what, we should have took those off. Maybe but I should nah, take these. Nah, unless you're gonna, nah, cause you're gonna wanna fold your stuff back Yeah, up. I don't want y'all to see how I fool it. Anyways. It tastes more like, um, um, very lemony. Lemony. I need more, more honey. What? They said, oh, honey. I don't know. Like what a little that's more from. sweet. They had different flavors. Yeah, they had a bunch of different flavors. I gotta get. Listen, y'all. They hot? don't call it hot Atlanta for for no reason. It's hot out there. It's hot, hot out here. It's hot and I got me some peach drink, y'all. But look at this, y'all. Ain't that fish so good? Mmm. 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 -hmm. Good. Wow. This is amazing. This is that white. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's like the AC is on in the rear. Mmm. 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 Come on. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Got that fresh fish mm -hmm. taste. No, it white is good. And they give you big portion sizes. Mm-hmm. Um. Whew. Huh? Mm-hmm. If you eat in there, y'all, y'all getting big plates. Oh yeah, like. Mm-hmm. Big huge Big plate. Huge bowls. Not bowls, it's like it's like a platter. It's a platter, y'all. With like three inch sides or something. Mm. They definitely give you a lot of food. And this is their hush puppy. Mmm. I like hush puppy. With tartar sauce. You like the hush puppy? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try the wingy dingy real quick. See what I'm talking about? Ooh. Ooh. This thing is just pop. It's got lemon. A lot of lemon on it. Mm hmm. I probably just got barbecue. Honey barbecue or something. Mm hmm. You had that? I still got that medium, like I said. Oh, I'm about to taste the medium right now. Mmm. Yeah. That fried rice is good. Mm hmm. You get the sort of the unexpected crunch of the uh, mm. the broccoli in it. Mm-hmm. Right. It normally comes with 
Mm. Just vegetable rice. Mm -hmm. But if you guys want to add shrimp, beef, or chicken, it's a dollar more. Or all three. Mm-hmm. Or all three. Which is the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, medium is just, is just like Frank's. Mm-hmm. So, y'all, I really want to talk about... Oh, y'all. Shout out to Lady T Sensation, y'all. Y'all really got to go over there and check her out. Um, I know some of y'all know that she was on my show or on my video a while back. And she is doing her thing. She's going to be featured in her newspaper in her local area. I'm thinking there. TV. No, newspaper. Oh yeah. Newspaper. Um in North Carolina. That's what she got. Yeah, North Carolina. So she will be featured in the newspaper from her YouTube channel. I thought that was amazing. So I just let y'all awesome. know that how what I'm saying that keep on working and doing your thing, you want to get noticed eventually. And she's been doing this thing for a long time. She has been grinding. Never stop, never stop, kept going. And also, she be she's gonna be um, uh, purchasing her new house hey, hey, in nine days. Congrats. She will be closing. Congratulations on that. It's always exciting when you get something new, when you're moving forward, and you know it's a new chapter in your life. So, congratulations to Lady T Sensation. Also, shout out to Simply Food by T Y. He did a video on me and my family, which was amazing. We, we laughed know, a lot. Yep. We laughed a lot. We were very, very, very pleased and very humbled by what he done. He he did because he didn't have to do that. He put a lot of videos of us laughing and having fun as a family, no, he did a lot and of work. it was amazing. And it was a lot of work, y'all. Sure it was yeah. a lot of work. And I just want—I can't thank him enough. Our family can't think, thank him enough. So you guys, I'm going to this time leave his link for real because last time I said I'm gonna leave his link and didn't even do. I I forgot. You forgot? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Well, oh, okay. But just on the whole thing with um, with um, Lady T Sensation, mm -hmm. um, it just goes to show you that I, I always say this: success is when when preparation meets opportunity. Mm -hmm. If you grind and you grind and you doing your thing, and then God opens a door. It's like you prepared for the door to be open because you've been just doing your thing and then the opportunity come knocking, mm -hmm. the door is open and it's like, wow, mm -hmm. look at what God did. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you're putting in the work every day. It's mm -hmm. you, you never stop grinding. You just keep doing your thing and then when well, the door right. opens, it's like, this is your time. Mm -hmm. And God is blessing you in that time and then it's all up to you. What do you do with that blessing? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you do you take it and you run with it and you try to make it the biggest and the best thing that that it can be, you know, all in the favor of God or what? Yeah. Or do you just sit back and say, hey, let me squander the moment. This is this is big, y'all. This is big. So shout out to Lady T. Mm -hmm. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Thanks again to um, Simply Food TV. Simply Food by T.Y. By T.Y., that's right. Yeah, well, I say Simply Food, food TV. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> that's what it was. Yep. Yep, but y'all, we got down in the ATL. ATL, whoop, whoop. Anyway, we are down here. And y'all, we know we asked y'all for restaurants and stuff to hit it up in ATL. We was going to go to the Slutty Vegan. I was first. But their truck was is in New um they in New Orleans. So I was not happy. Cause that was that's the place I wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. I told my husband that last night. We can want a slutty vegan. All she been talking about. That's all I was talking about, because everybody can tell me about the place and I'm like, I gotta hear what's going on and that's slutty vegan. I have to. Know what it's all about. What's the buzz about? What's the buzz about? And y'all know, I like my meat. I'm all about the meat. But what I heard about them is that you won't even know it's meat. It's not meat. That's how good it is. I was like, okay. I'm going to be shocked. Because I was telling her I used to eat bean burgers, black bean burgers at work. Mm -hmm. 
you know, when you're on your, your you know, I need, I need to lose weight kick, you be trying all kinds of stuff. I was trying the black bean burgers. You know what? I could eat them. Mm -hmm. I had to put a lot of ketchup on that bad boy. Between what? the wheat bun and the black bean burger, you know, I had to get some ketchup on there and get some flavor. So, oh, this is going to be interesting. They said this stuff was, was packed with flavor. So the Slutty Vegan is packed with flavor. And like I said, they said, uh, what, what's their slogan? Who said that vegans have to eat, cannot eat, uh, I don't know what or something about junk food or something. Oh, uh yeah? -huh. Yeah. Some of this stuff is packed with flavor and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they said, say, it's steak rally. They told, that some of the people said, yo, you need to call before you go. Wow. That's how call it is. And then, and they, on their Instagram, they like, uh, drink plenty of water while you standing around the truck. Drink plenty <laughs> of water. Like, you're going to be standing in some long lines. So when somebody tell you heat. that, in the heat, when they start telling you that, yeah, that's a warning. That is a warning. Take heed to that warning. But I'm ready to try it though. Me too. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. It's real good, I am. The hot puppy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yo, yeah, we down here because we are moving down here. Well, we're getting a studio down here. Yeah. We're getting a party down here and not a studio like that, y'all. Not no one bedroom studio. No, not that's not how I mean studio. When I say studio, I mean a place to record. Mm hmm. Do work. Right. Mm. So, basically, we're down here for that. We're down here to um, look at the apartment. Shout out to Trey and Nene for really looking out for us because we Much had love. them looking for us places to stay. And we finally found an area, so we're going to go see it tomorrow and put our deposit down and everything so we can secure our, our spot. Um, but shout out to them. Yeah, for real, for real. Because, you know, they didn't have to take time out of their they life to, life, to yeah. help us and, and, you know, help us look and do stuff. So mm -hmm. we really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. A whole lot. Yeah. So we got to do this, this spicy challenge. It's on, bro. It's on. Don't look, at, don't look at the sweat on my face and think I can't handle the heat. Can't, don't get it twisted. I ain't worried about you, I'm worried about Trey. He can't oh, yeah. handle that heat. We're gonna have to do Cheetos or something. Yeah. <laughs> hot, hot Cheetos. Mm -mm. If you watch Fanny, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they call him Little Baby Dragon. I saw that. Um, You saw the video with him and um, Lee? Lee. <laughs> oh my God, that was hilarious. Like, that's a joke. <laughs> he don't need to do no more challenges. It's all fun. It's all good. Mm -hmm. You know I'm kidding y'all, right? Oh yeah. Ooh. But anyway. It's a lot of lemon, baby. It is a lot of lemon. It's like a pucker lemon. It is a, it's like a what? A pucker. Pucker. A pucker. 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 <laughs> pucker. Anyway, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm. So, oh, look at these little um, celery sticks. Mm, yeah. Add that little crunch. Look, mm -hmm. I got a question. I heard, and she knew about it. I guess, she, you know, we, we've been doing so much stuff with this movement and stuff. She didn't even tell mm -hmm. me. About the earthquake thing in mm. LA, I, you know, 6.5 one day, 7.1 mm -hmm. the next day, or something like that. What is that like? Because I, I'm asking, like, on some real stuff, what is that like? Because we're supposed to be there literally like this week mm -hmm. or next week. No, we'll this week out. coming up. This so. week, I just want to know what it's like. Is it really like you know, everything falling all over the place, the ground, you know what I'm saying? No, like, it you is. see. You know, I've never been in one to experience it. You know, all you see is what's on TV. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. um, I want to know what it's like for y'all that live in, in LA, in California. You know, should I stay home? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I, that's no joke. I know, should I stay home? I just knew that's what he's coming up to. Hey, about. you know. I just hope everybody is okay. Yes, for real, for real. Um, that's a big thing. So, I hope everything. Yeah, because we I really been, haven't been in the news. Yeah, yeah I'm we've always been moving. in the news. So. We've been moving, y'all, so we don't really know. We don't know. And I saw a little flash of it, but. I ain't, I've been so. We have not busy. been on our phone. We've been so extremely busy that we had, you know, y'all know what moving is. I ain't Damn joke. I ain't seen no emails, no nothing. I haven't seen anything. Mm -hmm. I've been working. 
Mm-hmm. But you know, I can't even sing. Mm, I know, right? Oh, let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys an analogy on something. And then I'm gonna explain what it means. Okay. Come so, on. Let me stop chewing so y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. Take a drink. Take a drink. Really? I chew slow. Not that slow. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the analogy. You pull up to your favorite restaurant and it's one of them small joints, you know, and they have 20 parking spaces and the 20 parking spaces are all empty. So all it means is that there's 20 available slots for people to come and park right that's what that means 20 open parking places 20 people can park there well it doesn't mean that 20 people are gonna park there every day it just means that 20 people can park there every day right Nate where are you going with this yeah where are you going let me tell I don't you even know let me tell you where I'm going with this okay for you guys that watch YouTube a lot you may come across some channels that Oh. don't advertise at all they don't have like monetization and and so you don't see any yellow spots you know those little yellow dashes at the bottom of the screen think of those as the 20 spots that are available at your favorite food joint right mm -hmm. doesn't mean that they're gonna be full every time just means that they're available right so when you're looking at ads on YouTube and you see a whole bunch of slots it doesn't mean that there's an ad there in every slot and it doesn't mean that necessarily you're gonna see an ad in every slot either you know we had to learn this too mm -hmm. so what it is is just it's available for YouTube to put an ad there mm -hmm. doesn't mean there's an ad there right and also you may be watching and y'all just t test this out for yourself you may because I know because I do it. I I we looking at them some channels. I they, I see all these lines and I'm like, all the ads. hey, they got a lot of ads on there. Have but then when I'm watching it, I I didn't get hit with those ads. I was like, right. okay, wait. You gonna get hit like three or every, three or four, every if that. two, four, five minutes, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I didn't actually see an ad in those slots. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I say that is because we're gonna be doing that too. But but what it is is that we're just putting the slots there. It does not mean that you're gonna get hit with all of those ads. Mm -hmm. You're gonna watch all those ads, mm -hmm. and y'all just watch it. Just watch it. You, you know, you can look and see the lot. Oh, you might get it today. You can test you it out You may not get yourself. it tomorrow. I literally watch people that have tons of those little mm -hmm. yellow tick marks all throughout the thing, and I literally might see three ads or four ads mm -hmm. throughout if the that. entire video, mm -hmm. if that. All right. So. I think YouTube YouTube knows how to make sure that you're not like bombarded with, with ads, ads right. and stuff like that. But they also are giving an opportunity to put available slots so they can pick and choose. Okay, this person gonna see these two ads. This mm -hmm. person gonna see this ad. This ad. YouTube knows what they're doing, and all we're really doing is is almost like we're we're creating parking spaces that people can come and park advertisers can come and park mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that everybody who parks there is going to that Shop. restaurant mm -hmm. y'all get y'all get the analogy okay. doesn't mean that everybody that parks there is going to that restaurant so that's why so that's why you're gonna you'll see more yellow tick marks but, but you're mean... not gonna see like a ton more advertising you won't see that that I, I know because when i watch people when i watch people i watch people that have man you like what you look at the yellow tick marks and you if you're thinking that those are all ads your brain is like man i ain't even be able to get through this because there's too many ads but if you actually watch one you'll realize i just skipped through five six seven eight of those and i never got an ad at all because youtube knows what it's doing some people know that some people know but some, people, some don't. people don't but i just don't want people like to get discouraged though you say all oh, these little like, yellow tick marks and this that's the first thing they do so they see y'all take my all oh, you money hungry you yeah, this yeah, you yeah, that yeah. My thing is, that's how people get paid at the end of the day. But at the same time, it's not going to, like he said, it's not going to hit you all the time. It's just putting those slots in. 
Yeah, There's we nothing wouldn't to do worry that. about. We that's not how we are. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't do that. Um, but it's like this: you, you, your favorite restaurant is definitely going to put twenty parking spaces there, right? Because they want the opportunity for you to come and but, watch. But it doesn't mean that they you're going to come mm -hmm. and watch every mm -hmm. day. You might not it doesn't you. mean that. You know, just because they have available parks doesn't mean you're going to actually be there. So just because you have yellow marks doesn't mean that there's going to be an ad there that you're going to get hit with. That's, yeah. that's the analogy. We want to share that with y'all because we know how supporters can be sometimes. Subscribers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, people that come and watch, period, mm -hmm. whether, you're, whether you're a ride or die or not. Um, we that bothers them sure. to see all the, the ticks. Yeah, to see all the ticks. Because, I mean, like... When I first saw it, I was like, man, that's a lot of ads in this. You do. When I, when I went to somebody else's chat, channel and I was like, man, it's a lot of ads in this. But then when I watched it, because you know what? You know what happens, right? Your first thought is, like, man, it's a lot of ads in this. And then you get caught up in just watching it. And you didn't realize that, yeah, okay, it's been like eight minutes. I ain't seen one of those ads right, yet. Right, So it is like, you just don't get caught up in that is all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm trying to try to let this, that, um, this video yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. You know. We want y'all to understand and not be like, oh, they, they doing this and they doing that or whatever. But um, we bring it up because, I mean, I be like I said, you come across it and you, at first you're like, man, all the masks. But it ain't all the masks. YouTube mm -hmm. know what they doing. That's all uh -huh. I'm saying. YouTube be knowing. Now I done talked my way out of some food now. You hot. You full. We gonna stop anyway. We only got nine minutes. Nine minutes? I mean, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. I need some more. I need that. Mm, 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 eight minutes, mm, mm, Bethany mm, and Nate. Go on. I know, on, right? On, 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 on. You gotta change the words up out of here, boy. Sad now. I'm gonna I'm have to be original with my songs out here. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The um, beef in this is good. It's seasoned. That's what I'm saying. Y'all know I don't usually eat rice, but I got a lot of rice left, but still. I'm like. It's actually seasoned. Mm. The rice. Mm. But although, y'all, the best Chinese rice I ever tasted was in Chicago. It has been Chicago. Oh, Saipan? No. Where? The hood joints. Um. They had a rice so dark and brown and, oh. You like so, that place in Rockford, uh, too, though. Oh, that yeah. Where we used to go to oh, yeah. Time. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I don't even think they're there no more. That's the closest thing. Are anymore? I don't know, that was cool. and that little egg roll. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Um Is that long clock? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nowhere near that long clock. That's a, no. a hood joint. What was it? I don't remember what it was. I don't know nothing. Mm. Mm-mm. I can't do the barbecue sauce. I mean uh lemon. The medium. Mm. What? The lemon's a lot, but I can't do the medium because medium's salty. So y'all give me some more places, y'all. Come on now. I leave um We leave when? Give me some barbecue joints. Oh, we leave Monday. Somebody said um JJ's barbecue. JJ? So far we got we got baby Hattie B's. We got Hattie's. We got Hattie B's. Is it Hattie B's? Yeah, it's Hattie B's. Is it? I read it said Hattie B's. Uh, Hattie's. And then we got it was JJ's? Maria's barbecue, or was it? Oh, you know what? It was Hattie Marie's. Hattie Marie. Um, I don't know. Don't hurt me, baby. Uh. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm done. You done? Mm-hmm. Give me one, y'all, on flat. That's what we should have did. Uh, no. They don't. They don't do flats only in there, y'all. So we should have swapped up, like. That's what the first thing we should have did. Swap the fuck. Swapped up. I want some more drink. You should go there and give me a refill. That's what I said. I sucked mine all the way down. Oh man, I need some burping. Oh. I need some. Some um. Some let me clear my throat. Yeah. There you go. Let me clear my throat. Oh my gosh. We gotta go. Ooh, I just spilled something. Yeah, no. Yeah, man. They good, though. They stay crowded. And um, Pastor said, the girl we met said a lot of celebrities coming here. Oh. Hey, baby. Hmm? Sign out just in case because that was flashing. 
Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone, everyone. Let me know what your girl is doing on this channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Y'all, tell me some places to go in ATL. ATL? Preferably the Buckhead or... Uh, or um, downtown or... Peachtree. Peachtree. Or anywhere in that area. Popular area. Anywhere around, really, um, the airport area. Anywhere around that. 30 minute range or something, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't mind a little bit of our drive. Yeah, we'll drive. We'll drive. We just want to try some new stuff. We want to try a few things. Especially barbecue. Oh, yeah, barbecue. Man, man, listen. There's some stuff you just... There's, I don't know where. We got to find some other places in Ohio because there's some stuff that we just came, ain't been able to come across in Ohio.